Hey guys, I'm Dr. BJ Hardick with Max Living. We're talking about how to keep a healthy brain. And why would you wanna keep a healthy brain? You know, the statistics show that one in eight people by the age of 65 start to go into, into cognitive decline. And this is really scary. By the age of 80, one in two people are either dealing with Alzheimer's or some other form of dementia. You know, what's really interesting is that in 2005, the National Review of Medicine put out an article identifying that in fact, Alzheimer's disease really may now be considered type three diabetes. And this was a shock because most people are familiar that there are two forms of diabetes, but when the medical field started talking about there being three forms of diabetes and Alzheimer's being perhaps the third form of diabetes, it really raised a lot of eyebrows in terms of what we can do to prevent Alzheimer's as best as we possibly can when we're making healthy choices in our youth before we're having to deal with it later on. So fundamentally, although we recognize that there is type one diabetes, and there is type two diabetes, which is certainly recognized, well recognized within the industry as something that we do to ourselves because we consume too much sugar, too many starchy grains, and too many you know, high carb, high processed foods during our lifetime, we're recognizing that the impact of that on the brain is now equaling something that we recognize as Alzheimer's disease. So what is the best way to make sure that we don't go down that path? The first thing is massively cutting the amount of sugar that you would consume in your diet. I mean, it has been shown for anybody who's followed natural health for the last couple of years, uh, we know that more and more people now are moving over to what Max Living has always preached, which is about getting a lot of good, healthy fats into the body. You know, So you wanna think about you know sprouted nuts, sprouted seeds, um, avocado, coconut, as opposed to those other less efficient forms of energy, uh, basically coming from glucose and simple sugars. Now, I'm a fan of fruit. No one has ever suggested that just eating fruit itself is gonna uh, contain the sugar that's gonna cause you to develop type two diabetes or type three diabetes. But at least when you're eating fruit, you're getting all the fiber, the minerals, the water, all the other nutrients that are there. It's the processed sugars that we want to avoid. What we're seeing more and more is the more high healthy fats you get into the diet and the less sugar, the better chance you have at maintaining a healthy brain now and long-term.